sets up the first down for the Blue Devils, and that's the most success we've had on the ground tonight. John, three different Bears had a shot at him, and Griffin just ripped it up on the dive. Tommy Griffin wants it bad, and he showed it on that carrying, carrying the bread for Lebanon on that play. Three times he was hit hard, and three times he recovered for a big game. Length of the football inside the 43-yard line, and Lebanon on the move. Now Pitt calling him, and they give it this time to Stafford carrying the ball, and Stafford roars over the 40, down to near the 35-yard line, and Stafford in his only carry picks up five. Chris Stafford is playing with a with a broken thumb. He's got a cast on his right hand the size of a mailbox. That thing is huge. <laughs> and it weighs like a mall. It weighs about four pounds. And and he managed to hang on to the football and twist for extra yardage. A lot of guts by Chris Stafford. Second down three for the Blue Devils near the 35-yard line. Pitt calls him. Long count for the Blue Devils. And Pitt wants to throw. And through the hands of Carson at the 30, and he had some room, and he'd been able to pull that one down, but it was thrown, in all fairness to Carson, a little bit behind him. He had to turn around to get the football. Well, that's basically the same play that we ran for the touchdown earlier. We fake the toss sweep, throw back to Carson on the drag route, and he was open. Damon got some pressure, and I saw Chris Stafford in the huddle grab an offensive lineman by the face mask and tell him to come on. Hold him out of there. I think these Blue Devils are about to get fired up, Tommy, for the first time tonight. As they, Zachary goes right, C comes left. Carson is in tight on the left side. Lebanon moving your left to your right to left. And they hand it to Griffin, and Griffin is going to get a yard. He's going to get close to first down yardage, but he's not going to have it. Lebanon is going to be shy, but I think it may be time to go for it here because you're inside the 35, and it's fourth and uh, maybe a yard. Looks like right at a yard for the first down. Here comes Jank Jason Hankins with the play from the sideline to Lebanon's junior quarterback, Damon Pitt, and Lebanon appears that they will go for it. And what a big play this is. Hankins comes to the near side. Lebanon with a fourth and a long one, as a matter of fact. Pitt going to call him and Pitt forward. He's got the first down, and they drive him back, and then uh, Stafford just crashes into him from behind the pile and knocks him forward again. That's a football player for you. Chris Stafford knew what was going on. He didn't want to take any chances with the progress of Damon Pitt being stopped. Now, the officials apparently going to bring the sticks across the way. John, have you got the eyeball on this spot? I'm right behind the referee. We did not get a favorable spot on that uh, placement of the ball there, Tommy. They're bringing the chain gang out now. Referee Blake Parks is hovering over the ball. They're now placing the chain down on the 40 and pulling it tight, and it's going to be first down, Blue Devils. All right, it looked like it was from here. So Lebanon with a big first down. Blue Devils at the point there, they had to pick up a first down if they have any notion of winning this football game. The nose of the football is just outside the Mount Juliet 32, and the Blue Devils send Zachary and Hankins wide right. Pitt calls them. Pitt back to throw. Looks for somebody. Nobody open. Pitt going to keep it. Looks. Still looking. Fine. He's got Ron C. C slides outside, and they gain about seven on the play, and a great play by Pitt, and also Ron C coming back to his quarterback, who was in trouble. Well, that's what that quarterback mobility will get you, Clyde. Pitt was able to buy himself a little time. Nobody open early. Ron C. did a heck of a job coming back to him and making himself a good presentable target. Damon sprints, keeps going to the right, found Ron for the good yardage. Reeves is in the football game. Griffin goes to tailback, and Stafford comes out. Second down four now for the Blue Devils near the 26-yard line. And a handoff. They pitch it to Griffin. Griffin coming outside. Going to be dropped back outside the 30 on a great play. I think that's Daniels, and it is. Sean Daniel making another great play for the Bears. He's been all over the field tonight for the Bears. And the holding call going to be marked off against the Blue Devils. The umpire throws the flag, and that's never good for the offense. Right in the middle of that pile, out comes that yellow flag. Well, it will either be third and nine or second and a bunch. See what Mount Juliet is going to take, and I think they've motioned for him to walk it off against the Blue Devils, and that's what we're going to do. And it'll come from the 31 back to the 41-yard line, and Lebanon now 
is going to be looking at uh, second down and almost 20. Scoreboard's got second and 14. Somebody can't count. Looks more like 20 or 19. Now they've got it right. I'll agree with that. Second down, 19. Pitt back to throw. Being pressured by Oldham. He's going to be dropped back in Lebanon territory at the 49-yard line. Diego Oldham, along with uh, the big end, uh, Ross Hayes, come in and double-team Pitt. He had nowhere to go, and the Blue Devils now have third and a million almost. They're Le back in their own territory. Lebanon trying to run Griffin in the pass route. They started him in motion, turned him upfield. Our quarterback, Damon Pitt, did not have time. Mount Julius defensive front got a good push, got a good push, and could not get us... We could not get the time for him. Apparently, that's the end of the that's third the end period. Of the third period, and that scoreboard is stuck. And we'll be back with fourth and final quarter action after this 30 second break. Hello, I'm Joanne Sutter, a junior football cheerleader here at LHS. We're here with Mr. Alan Bain of Piggly Wiggly, and we would like to thank them for their support. We sent to them a football souvenir. Good luck, Lebanon Blue Devils. Go, Big Blue! Bears of Mount Juliet lead Lebanon 14 to 6. We've got 12 minutes of football yet to be played as we start the fourth quarter. Lebanon looking at a third down and very long. Football at the Lebanon 49-yard line. They have got to go to the 32 of Mount Juliet for the first down. Pitt with wide outs left and right makes the call. And Pitt is back to throw. Got some protection this time. Wants to fire over the middle. Got Ron C. C shakes one tackle and barrels down to the Mount Juliet 40. And a good gain. And it will bring up a fourth and about uh, seven, but the Blue Devils will have to punt the football away here. Clyde, we've got a real favorable spot with the 10-yard uh, marker. It actually should be 10 yards further than the field because Lebanon had a first down on the Mount Juliet 32, and now they've, they've spotted it, so we only have to go to the 32 for a first down. Well, you're right. Let them keep it messed up over there. <laughs> That's that home field advantage we talk so much about. <laughs> Tressler will kick it away, but, excuse me, Johnson goes deep. Johnson is back, and Butler, the short man, Tressler got time, and again, not a good kick, but it's going to go out of bounds at the 16-yard line and be effective for Lebanon as Mount Juliet now will put it in play at their own 16-yard line. And what the Blue Devils can't afford right now is another one of those long drives by the Bears. Well, they have eaten that clock up, Clyde. Just four yards, three yards, two yards, four yards. Terry, we've got to put a stop to them, and they've just churned out those first downs. Tommy, again, they've got 12 first downs now to Lebanon's five. Lebanon with only two in the second half. Mount Juliet with four. And, of course, they're leading 14 to six. The Bears will put it in play. Hackney's the quarterback. Oldham, the big fullback. Gilbert and Butler are the wingbacks. Now they've got both of them on the same side now. Hackney calls the signals and they give it to that big fullback. And boy, there's some hitting going on in there. He's going to get a couple of three yards out over the 22 to the 24 yard line. A gain of about two by big uh, Diego Oldham. 240 pounds of them. They give him almost three. They give him almost to the 25. And the spot was the 21 rather than the 16. Lebanon in that 50 defensive front. Linebackers for Lebanon High School. We've got Kelly and Lucas in there at linebackers. We've got uh, our nose man is Cantrell. Second down eight for the Bears at the Lebanon 24. And here comes Butler behind Gilbert, rather, behind some good blocking. Going to cross the 25 out to the 27-yard line. Lebanon had uh, a lot of people. Blue shirts there. Kelly, uh, Pitt, Gannon. And uh, big number 60 for the Blue Devils, and uh, that belongs to Brad Clemens. Clemens getting some work tonight. He's back from that badly sprained ankle he injured in the first game of the year down at Father Ryan on the turf. In there at defensive ends for Lebanon, we've got Jeremy Stafford and Gannon. Lebanon looking at their biggest, the defense is looking at their biggest third down tonight. Third and five for the Bears at their own 27. Butler goes in motion, and they give it to Butler around the far side, and they knock him down, but Butler's got the first down, I believe, as he crosses the 30 all the way out to the 33-yard line. 
behind great block and it's a first down for the Mount Juliet Bears and the Lebanon defense did not hold them and the Bears continue with the football. This series has been uh, typified by a lot of streaks. Mount Juliet won the first game in 77. Lebanon won the second game in 78. And then the Bears went on an eight-game winning streak until 1987, where Lebanon won eight in a row. And, and this one, the rubber game of the match. Both teams have nine wins each in the series. And somebody's going to go ahead tonight. But Mount Juliet is leading 14 to 6 and have the football. And here comes that big pullback, barreling out to the 35, 36 yard line. Boy, Lebanon has just not been able, Clemens making a stop, but Lebanon not been able to stop him for no gain tonight. He's getting anywhere from two to six, seven yards of carry. Terry, he's got some, some awfully good numbers. Tommy Oldham tonight, 15 carries, 73 yards. Tito Butler, 15 carries, 72 yards. That's about 145 total there, isn't it? I'm telling you, they have eaten it up on the ground and control the football. And the clock, we don't know where we are. We're in the fourth quarter. That's all we can tell you. Mount Julie with the football looking at a two and seven. And they give it to Oldham on the carry. And he's going to blast out to the 39, a gain of about two more by the big guy. John, down on the sideline, when you get some word from the officials on how much time we've got left, just sing out and let us know. We'll do it, Tommy. All right, here comes uh, Mount Juliet with a play in, and the Blue Devils trying to show up their defense. Looking at another big third down now. It's third and four for the Bears. The Blue Devils, the Bears capitalized the last time they had a third and five. Now they're looking at third and four at their own 39. And they give it to Butler on that same toss sweep. This time, I don't know. I don't know if he made it or not. It'll depend upon the spot. It's going to be awfully close as he crosses the 40 out to the 43-yard line. With the spot they give him, he may have the first down. John, it looked like the Bears got a good spot. They got a good spot, but it's still going to be a fourth down situation, Tommy. They came back with that same toss sweep, running it to our left side of our line where Jeremy Stafford's playing defensive end. And uh, that time they weren't successful, but looks like they're going to go for it. Fourth and a half yard to go. And the Bears are going to go for it in their own territory at the 43-yard line. And now an official says he wants time. The Bears and the Blue Devils are ready to play. Now the officials are all of a sudden are going to measure it. Well, that's a fine bar candy, isn't it? Well, maybe they're just adjusting and making sure they've got the spot where they want it. And it is short by about the length of the football. So Mount Juliet in a situation where they're just going to try to wedge it out, I'm sure. Lebanon look for them to eagle down those tackles, to drop those tackles side by side with Cantrell and try to fill up those guard center gaps. And, and keep them from wedging it in there to the fullback or with a quarterback sneak. What a play this would be for the Blue Devils if they can pull it off defensively. Now Juliet with a call. Lebanon going to jump and make contact. And it's an easy first down for the Bears. Blue Devils have been beset all year by penalties. And tonight is no exception. We've had three, I can remember, offside penalties tonight. That wouldn't be in one of them. That moves the ball out to the Lebanon or to the Bear 48-yard line, where it'll be first down and 10 for the Mount Juliet Bears at their own 48. But right now, what they're doing with a 14-6 lead, they are controlling the football. Mount Juliet with that wing tee, ready to go with a first and 10. And they give it to Butler coming to the near side. And Pitt makes a good stop, but he crosses the 50 down to the 48-yard line. A gain of four after you make a good play on Butler. Well, they, they made a good play, and that's the beauty of the wing tee is that you've just got, you're, you're trying to get them outnumbered. You pull those two guards on that power sweep, and 